Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. 2022, during electioneering period, muliambiwa kwamba uhuru mwingine Kenya tas government kuendea taxes. In this industry called Kerochi breweries. Muliambiwa kwamba ilikuwa siasa. Now today, as we speak, Kerochi breweries is facing again a trouble from the government. Wanaambiwa kwamba kulingana na zile vitu inatajika wakuwe nazo they don't have and again in terms of taxes they're not paying the question that i'm asking myself then was uhuru mwege kenya ta right because to liambiwa uhuru mwege kenya ta's government kuendea taxes to this kerochi brewery ilikuwa siasa walikuwa nataka the owner Tabitha Karanja to join the Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya coalition No uru akawaambia vizuri sana O wale maradio roka mesemanie huko makemwaraga bibaya baya sebeni baya sebeni dynasty baya eh Asala tawale tawala Amukuskia kwamba hii kikundi ya UDA ni story za jaba ilikuwa tu nia zao za kufanya kwamba washinde na kufanya wanakana ni kana kwamba wanapigania common wananchi as we speak the courage courage brewery iko kwa ile shida shida bado wakati uongozi wa uhuru mwege Kenyatta na sasa wakati wa campaign Ruto aliongelelea maneno ya breweries akasema kwamba these people generally William Ruto alimaanisha kwamba uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga wanted the Keroche owner or the Keroche brewery CEO that is Tabitha Karanja to join the Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya coalition ndio maana walikuwa na mpush na issues za taxes. And this is what William Ruto. Saa hizi mumeenda mukafunga kampuni ya Keroche ati kwa sababu huyo mama amekataa kuja azimio. Sisi tunataka tuwaambie watu wa azimio, Kenya hii si yenu peke yenu. Biashara itaendelea Kenya hii na tutawakomesha tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ndio biashara inaendelee katika taifa letu la Kenya. Ama mnasemaje watu wa watu wa kisi? Tunaelewana? Mnataka kusikia sauti? So the question that I'm asking myself. Wakati the CEO of Kerochi Breweries Tabitha Karanja aliingia kwa siasa. And by the way, she is the current senator of Nakuru County. Wakati alijoin UDA, Tabitha Karanja thought like she was now going to have a lot of ease. At the same time she was elected as senator of Nakuru and now she's part and parcel of the Kenya Kwanza government. Na wakati Tabitha Karanja alikuwa na join UDA walituambia sasa watapigania Kiroche isifungwe. Na Kiroche ilikuwa imeandika watu wengi na bado imeandika watu wengi. So when Tabitha Karanja joined the UDA party was she having that idea that she was having a solution to her company. Kule juu zikija hapa hazikuji kutunyanyanyasa tumesikizana na nyinyi kwa sababu kazi yetu yote si ni kutafuta kazi tuweke pesa mkono mifukoni nimezaliwa hapa wala wajui kwetu ni pale Kenton Kijabi ndio nimezaliwa nikasomea Kiambogo Primary School na sekondari yangu iko hapa tu nyuma inaitwa Bahati Girls 
alafu mimi ndiye nimeweka kiwanda ile kubwa katika Nakuru County. Nimemusikiza sana na nimeona then later on Tabitha Karanja told us that it was political managed to either ensure that she was going to join the Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya coalition or his company Kiroche Breweries to be shut down that is what Tabitha Karanja told us and by the way i was shocked if she said or rather when she said that she has passed a lot of problem in terms of the politics of the republic of kenya 2013 2017 and 2022 and now again for her to join the uda was at least have those people who are going to stand with her uh, from what I've, what I've seen cuz I've looked at Kirochi if you look at the 2607 what was happening it was there again uh, an election if you look at 2012 2013 again it was an election 2017 election today is an election so for me i think this is a business war and there is our competitor who tends because they know the political divide that we are always in and people will now take sides and then now he is able to penetrate and kill the organization or kill the brands that if you they are threatening to his moving forward so for us for me is that we put politics aside and concentrate on the business and don't mix business with politics because if we do that they will continue every time they come and they see the divide because if you look at the african politics it's different from europe from uh, the developed world in africa we are always divided so our enemy comes in there uses these government institutions to ensure that they get what they want and now they think if kroji is close and all that who will benefit actually it is them yeah and that's why me i'm not giving up because i know it's not about politics you keep on saying politics is politics it's the truth of the matter is is a business war and it's a competition and time it look at it look the history and it's... so now i remember also the uda allied members of parliament kuja strongly na kutetea tabitha na kusema kwamba Keroche imeandika watu wengi kazi sana. Sasa kufungwa ilikuwa inadhalilisha maisha ya wale ambao wameandikwa kazi pale. But the question is, even despite of this members of parliament united themselves and say that we are going to fight hard to ensure that Keroche iko. Now Keroche iko shida. Despite of this members of parliament kusimama na Keroche employs thousands of employees directly and indirectly whose livelihoods have been negatively affected by these arbitrary closures we now have families not able to raise uh, basic amenities landlords locking out workers school children staying home and have now been made beggars in a country where unemployment is already a very big issue these draconian kra measures are only targeted at local investors while safely cushioning international investors it is totally against the famous buy kenya build kenya mantle the covid-19 pandemic was not only a kenyan issue it was a global issue and this farm which is originally kenyan grown for the last 25 years agreed that yes we agree we have tax arrears we are willing to enter into an arrangement and they actually wrote it down so many banks that are post covid 19 i am looking back here many have gone home for these workers people who are being locked out of their houses children that are not able to pay fees this is a kenyan grown 
uh, factory, Kenyan grown industry, if anyone is serious in terms of growing Kenyan farms, in terms of giving incentives, we, are, we should be able to caution any Kenyan brand that has grown all the way for 25 years, that are defended jobs, and we'll be able to actually guarantee meaningful employment for these. Then Kenyans, without any fear of contradiction, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta, Kenyatta's prophecy is being vindicated. And Uhuru told you very clear, Mchungane na watu. Mchungane na watu. Amuhu skia. Now this whatever we are seeing today, Zile taxes, Yenye, Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa naende ya kerochi. The same taxes, Awatu anataka. Na sasa yao nae ni excess. Wanaambia mwenye kampuni skia. Aujafikisha ile kiwango inaitajika. Kulingana na hii industry in a process problem. And now, if the, the CEO is a part and parcel of Kenya Kwanza government, Bono anafungiwa. Kwa sababu during the regime of Uru Kenyatta, Tabitha Karanja ilionekana ni kana kwamba anapigwa vita kisiasa. She is now the senator of Nakuru County. She is part and parcel of Kenya Kwanza government. Si hawa watu wa msaidie. That is what we say. Hawa watu wa msaidie. Because we cannot preach water and we drink wine. During electioneering period we were told that Uhuru Kenyatta is just after her money. The, that Uhuru Kenyatta wanted Kiroche to fund the Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition campaigns. Or rather, she was to support the Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition. So for me, when I was just reading this news, I realized something that is very crucial. And you will understand that E Kenya Kwanza, wakati wa election, ilikuwa two stories a java. But today, wale wenye nafinyelewa ni wale watu wachi. And they still continue to do it. And if you think that they are going to change, then forget about it. So that is the state that we are today. And ladies and gentlemen, allow me to close the video at that point.